Blackmagic Design has released a new tool in DaVinci Resolve 18.5 called the Relight Effect. Let's take a look. First off, we're gonna start in our project settings in the bottom right hand corner. We're gonna to go to color management. And for myself, I have color science DaVinci YRGB color managed. Color processing mode is HDR DaVinci Y Gamma Intermediate. And output color space is Rec 709-A because this is going online. We can go ahead and cancel out of our project settings. As far as clips, I'm using a Blackmagic RAW file from a Pocket 6K Pro. And if you wanna save time, I've created a power grade of this Relight node tree that can be found in the description for free. The section of the clip I've marked today is a section where the key light was out just to see how the camera would perform. We can go ahead and see what the key light would look like if it was on by clicking next. And that is our key light on. It's a Titan tube just out of frame in the upper right hand corner. But in this tutorial, we'll go back to where the key light is off. For this effect, we're gonna need three serial nodes. So we'll go ahead and click on our first node and we'll hit add node, add serial. Click on the second node, add node, add serial. Now that we have our three nodes, we can open up the effects panel in the upper right hand corner. We can type in the search bar, relight. And we can go ahead and drag this to node number two and we can drag it to node number three. Next, we're gonna to wanna to drag down node number two to give us a little space to work with. And now you'll see on node number two and number three, both with the relight effects that we have multiple inputs on those nodes. So from node number one, for cleanliness, we're gonna go directly to node number three and the input one. And for node number two, we're gonna go from the output to the second input of node number three. Our next step is to select node number two and go back to the effects panel. In the effects panel, we wanna make sure our surface map is selected as use internal, and we wanna make sure we click output surface map. This will disable all other options and this node is good to go. Next, we're gonna click on node number three, go back to our effects panel, click on surface map and switch it from use internal to use input number two. Next, we'll be able to select what kind of lighting we want, whether it's directional, point source or spotlight. We're gonna leave it as point source for now and we're gonna deselect relight map preview so that our viewer goes back to normal. With node number three selected, we'll immediately notice that our light properties do not work and neither do our surface properties. That's because of two reasons. Number one, in the viewer in the bottom left-hand corner, we need to make sure we have open effects overlay selected. This will enable our red and white lighting tool on the overlay screen. And then our next step is to go down to our primary color wheels and adjust either our gamma or our gain. In my example with this clip, we're gonna be adjusting the gamma. So we can go ahead and boost that up and we'll start to see our image come alive. Now going back to the viewer, we can go ahead and drag around the face our relight tool we can go on below, to the left, to the right. We can go ahead and expand up how powerful that source is and where it's exactly coming from. For myself, I found the sweet spot on this image to be right about here. We go ahead and full screen that and we can see what it looks like. Gamma's still a little too hot. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down a little bit. This right here looks just about good to me. We can go ahead and hit Command F to go full screen. And while we have that node selected, we can hold down Command and hit D. And we can on off it. This is off and this is back on, off, on. The Relight tool is very powerful. There are many more options to fine tune the tool via the effects tab or from other tools inside DaVinci Resolve, such as the power window.